ते हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय निसिंह श्री निसिंह जय जय निसिंह जय निसिंह श्री निसिंह जय जय निसिंह प्रहलादेश जय पद मुख पद मृंग श्री निसिंह जय निसिंह जय जय निसिंह प्रहलादेश जय पद मुख पद मृंग जय निसिंह श्री निसिंह जय जय निसिंह प्रहलादेश जय पद मुख पद मृंग नमस्ते नरसिंहाय प्रहलादल्लादायिने हिरण्यकशिपुर शिलाटंकौनखल जय निसिंह श्री निसिंह जय जय निसिंह हरिबोल हरिबोल एन कथा नये एन हरिकथा बोल को कथा नय आकार इंगीते तुम्हरा कथा बोल जय निसिंह श्री निसिंह जय जय निसिंह प्रहलादेश जय पद मुख पद मृंग नमस्ते नरसिंहाय प्रहलादल्लादायिने हिरण्य कशिपुर बक्स शिलाटंक नखल नमस्ते नरसिंहाय प्रहलादल्लादायिने हिरण्य कशिपुर बक्स शिलाटंक नखल तो निसिंह पर तो निसिंह यतो यतो यामी तथो निसिंह बहिर निसिंह हृदय निसिंह निसिंह मादीन शरण प्रपदे इतो निसिंह पर तो निसिंह जतो जतो यामी तथो निसिंह बहिर निसिंह हृदय निसिंह 
नृसिहमादि शरण प्रपदी हितो निसिंह परतो निसिंह हितो निसिंह परतो निसिंह जतो यतो यामि ततो निसिंह बहिर निसिंह हृदय निसिंह सिंहमादिन शरण प्रपदे हितो निसिंह परतो निसिंह जतो यतो यामि ततो निसिंह बहिर निसिंह हृदय निसिंह सिंहमादिन शरण प्रपदे वागीशा यदने लक्ष्मीरश च बक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संवित तंग नृसिंह महंग भजी वागीशा यदने लक्ष्मीरश च बक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संवित तंग नृसिंह अहम भजे वागीशा यदने लक्ष्मीरज च बक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संवित तंग नृसिंह अहम भजे जय जय लक्ष्मीपति नृसिंह मुरारी मंगल निलय प्रभु अमंगल हारी जय जय लक्ष्मीपति नृसिंह मुरारी मंगल निलय प्रभु अमंगल हारी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय भक्ति विघ्न विनाशन भक्त विघ्न विनाशन सर्व विघ्न विनाशन भगवान सिंह देव जीव की जय भक्तराज प्रहलाद महाराज की जय कयाधु माता की जय जय सपरिकार भगवान शिशिमन नृसिंह देव जीव की जय जय भक्त रक्षक जय जय भक्त रक्षक प्रभु भगवान शिशिमन नृसिंह देव जीव की जय श्री श्री लक्ष्मी नृसिंह देव जीव की जय श्री श्री लक्ष्मी नृसिंह देव जीव की जय श्री श्री प्रहलाद नृसिंह भगवान जीव की जय तदीय शुभ आविर्भाव तिथि बड़ा की जय 
Since you're missing what you're doing, does she? Did he borrow QJ? Bagoan, missing what they be so far with Bob. Did he put ya? Maha, Mahot, shop QJ to do a bit Bob. Put ya, Maha, Mahot, shop QJ. Shaparshat, Sila Guru Maharaj ki jai. Shaparikar, Sila Prabhupad ki jai. Shamastu, Guru Bhargu Acharya Vrinda ki jai. Jai. Premi Nishinga Bhakta Gan ki jai. Shamastu Premi, Si Nishinga Bhakta Gan, Nishinga Shevak Vrinda ki jai. So today, you know, today we are observing the day of Nishinga Chatur Dashi Brata. On this very day, on this very Tithi, as we all know, Bhagavan Nishinga Dev made his advent, mercifully made his advent on this world. Especially to protect his great devotee, great beloved devotee, Sila Prahlad Maharaj. While, we all know, while he found his beloved devotee, his beloved most devotee, Prahlad Maharaj, was in so much danger. His life was in danger. And when he found Prahlad Maharaj didn't know anyone but him, even in that most dangerous condition of his life, even, even in that most, okay, most dangerous situation in his life, Okay, he never forgot. He never forgot to remember to be to lovingly meditate, wholeheartedly meditate and rely on his great Prabhu Magnanimous Lord Nishingadeva. So when Lord Nishinga Deva found Prahlad Maharaj in that kind of situation, found him so much surrendered, even in that most dangerous situation in his life, okay, he could not but only remembered and remembered. Completely relied on the protection of his Lord, beloved Lord Nishingadev, with wholehearted dedication, wholehearted mode of surrender to him. Lord Nishingadev could not stay away anymore. Well, he had already been protecting Prahlad Maharaj, his dear most devotee Prahlad Maharaj, in many ways as Hiranyakashipu continued to kill his son in various ways, various tricky ways. I repeat, when Hiranyakashipu uh, ruthlessly ruthlessly, clearly continued to apply, implement various ways to kill his son. He could not because his son, the great devotee of Nishingadev hmm, Prahlad Mahaj was being protected at every step of the danger, at every step of the great uh, danger of his life. So therefore, we all know, 
Hirana Kashipu could not kill Prahlad. So, back to the point. Lord Nishingo had already been protecting his devotee Prahlad Maharaj in every ways, okay, even before his appearance, before his before officially appearing before Prahlad Maharaj, okay, to finally protect him from the demoniac hands, evil hands of Hiranyakashipu. So in this way, Lord Nishingha was already dearly responding and okay, taking care of his great responsibility of protecting his devotee Prahlad Maharaj even before his, much before his official appearance. Hmm. We shall find that. And Prahlad Maharaj was thrown into fire. Fire didn't burn. Fire could not burn Prahlad Prahlad. And he was thrown from up, up on the mountain, thrown down from the top of the mountain. Okay. Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj never died. Okay. Nishingadev in another form, he took, even nearly held Prahlad Maharaj in his lap. So, these are many ways. When he was put, he was put under the feet of elephant. Okay, that elephant also could not kill Bhakta Prahlad. There's various ways. Whatever way that demon Hiranyakashipu tried, tried his best and worst to kill his son. He failed and failed. He continued to be failing and failing. Why? He could not understand, but his son could understand. Other great devotees of Lord Vishnu Ultimately, Lord Krishna could understand how Prahlad Maharaj was being protected. Why he was getting protected, how he was getting protected. Who was protecting him? They knew it was Lord Narayana, ultimately Lord Krishna, who had been protecting his great devotee Prahlad Maharaj who was so dependent, completely dependent on him, on his protection. When one becomes completely dependent with full devotion, devotional surrender to the Lord, Lord can never stay away from that kind of devotee, Ananabhak. Self surrender, okay, dedicated devotee. That was Sila Prahlad Maharaj's case. Mm. So, so, the same Lord who had been protecting Prahlad Maharaj at every step, every time of Dangerous situation when Hiranyakashipu was trying to kill him. Okay. And the same Lord now appeared today in the form of Nishingha. Nishingha Dev. Hmm. We all know. To the, to the best surprise to the greatest surprise of Hiranyakashipu and also others, Lord Nishinga appeared before Parlad Maharaj Hiranyakashipu. Okay. And that's how this Leela came into being. 
So today, so today is the day of the advent of the highest divine power personified in the form of Lord Nishimha. I repeat. So today is the day of the appearance, of the manifestation of great magnanimous spiritual power, divine power, the supreme personification of the great spiritual power. Mm. Evil killing, devotee protecting, and evil killer power appeared okay, in the form of Supreme Lord Vishimha. So, one of the most significant days in the lives of the devotees. And that power, what kind of, what sort of manifestation of what kind of power? No ordinary universal power. Power of highest magnitude and magnanimity. Okay. Power characterized by so much compassion, so much commitment to protect its own devotee. So therefore, it was such power which was manifested today in the form of Lord Nishinga, which was filled with highest magnanimity. Hmm. Magnanimity and mercy in order to protect his good devotee against the evil. Hmm. What Lord Krishna declared in Bhagavad Gita Jada Jada hi dharmasya glani bhavati bharata abhutthana madharmasya tadatmanam sijamyaham paritranaya sadhunang vinashaya chaduskritam dharma samasthaponarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge So, what he announced through Simad Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna, That announcement actually officially took place, manifested in Dapura Yuga. But even before that, Lord Krishna, he fulfilled such holy duties, such as holy duty of protecting his devotees, protecting his uh, all sincere devotees. The personification of all goodness, killing the evil power, killing the evil. Shishter palono, dushter damono. So, before Lord Krishna announced about such his principle or commitment of protecting his all good devotees against the evil. It was already, it already manifested in the other yugas prior to Dapur yuga. Because such principle is characterized in Lord Krishna, Supreme Lord, in eternity, for eternity. Okay. It was characterized, we find it so much characterized. Okay in the life of Lord Ramachandra. So I repeat, such principle of protecting his de- own devotees against the evil comes so beautifully found, prominently found 
in the life of Lord Ramachandra. Okay, Lord Nishingadi. Thereafter, the life of Lord Krishna. Hmm. So, also in the form of some of the avatars of ten kind of incarnations, in some of the incarnations of the ten kinds. Okay, we find. I am not going into details. So we find Lord's commitment, Lord's engagement in protecting the good against evil, in protecting his devotees against the evil, evil power. Okay, because that is one of the eternal characteristics, qualities of the Almighty Lord. The Supreme Lord, none other than infinite super power, the supreme personality of all all pervading infinite super power, means Lord Nishingade, Krishna, Sri Ramachandra. So. Back to the point. So we find Lord Krishna declared, announced almost the same principle through that verse of Bhagavad Gita, declaring his commitment, hmm, his vow to protect his devotees, sadhus, against the evil. <coughs> Paritranaya sadhunang vinashaya chaduskritam Dharma samasthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge Thus, by protecting the sadhus, his devotees against the evil, he again establishes, he re-establishes, again and again establishes the dharma, setting aside all the influence of the adharma by his special manifestation, by his special powerful manifestation, by his special powerful leela, bhuhar harana activities, taking away of the burden of Mother Earth, not only protecting, not only ensuring the protection of the sadhus, against the evil, but also protecting the mother earth and the universe by taking away the burdens, sinful burdens created by the sinful karma or different types of mundane karmic activities by different types of jivas living all over the universe. So, especially on mother earth, from time to time, our Supreme Lord is also conscious of relieving the Mother Earth from all the sinful burdens of the all karmic effects. Okay, burdens of the sinful karmas. Thereby, mm. also nurtures. Not only protecting Mother Earth, also nurtures, nourishes further. Besides protecting and nurturing okay, the lives of the sadhus. So, <clears throat> so we again, needless to mention, we find the manifestation of the same principle, same. <clears throat> Noble sense of duty of the Lord to protect his devotee in Lord Nishingha Deva, Teta Juga. Questions may arise. Sometimes some devotees are found to be unprotected by the Lord. Often we find some devotees in the world can be found 
unprotected by the lord despite of prayers and request hmm direct protection don't come hmm. well answering to answer such questions to it will be taking more time for explanation okay definitely take time to explain the answer to such questions because many other aspects of the life and creation involved with the answers honest answers to such questions <clears throat> like all jeevas all devotees individual karma their karmic actions and reactions also environmental environmental karma I and mean the collective effects of the karma of the environment created by not only nature but also <clears throat> many people together okay also other way that same devotee who engaged who engaged in prayer to the lord for protecting him who was requesting and praying for protection might not be that much qualified okay did not might not deserve so much like prahlad maharaj to receive direct protection from the lord okay he still the devotee still needed to go through certain experience tough rough tough experiences of the of the life 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 of mundane plane mundane existence and needed to learn through the devotee still needed to pass through such a rough and tough experience of the mundane life and required to learn through learn through ex- experience getting rectified through learning okay so learning through experience and rectifications or needed to be more purified through such experiences therefore lord's help didn't directly come to save him okay because there is some still some purpose behind some purpose behind but that didn't mean lord left that devotee alone okay he did not he did not care for the devotee at all did not care about the devotee it's not that it was like training period the devotee was still going through some sort of training period <coughs> on this plane of mundane existence so that he learns through experience learns what okay learns how to eliminate <coughs> the dangers of life the how to eliminate all the negative you know evil stops evil sides of the life okay different heinous okay bad moments of his life by utilizing his own power own energy and power strength already given by lord <coughs> within that devotee within that devotee lord wanted to see him becoming self dependent more self reliant wanted him to meet the situation in a more self reliant self dependent way without fully depending okay on the only on the protection coming from the lord but let him do that 
let him let him try his best to help himself okay implement his own inner strength apply his own inner strength already given by krishna within the devotee apply all intelligence so apply all his implement all his inner strength his life strength with intelligence which is already granted by supreme lord okay and survive from the situation hmm. protect himself or herself against the adverse situation sometimes lord also wants to see that it is like that sometimes a mother bird mother bird approaches reaches you know their children okay close and they push they start pushing them with with their wings so that those children who who have not yet learned how to fly they fall down and during the process of falling down they start using their wings and they start flying it appears to be mother bird becoming cruel becoming so cruel to her children okay to just pushing pushing them fall in the space falling down helplessly but they also had fear or mother bird knew mother bird knew why she was doing it and that her children will not be killed not going to die is going to learn the process of flying okay one example we can find many such examples many such examples in the spiritual world but actually the way supreme lord plays with some devotees it is like becoming cruel to be kind becoming cruel to them apparently ultimately to be kind to make them learn okay to get them trained well trained of becoming self dependent so that they are able to protect themselves by their own life strength life potency accompanied by their intelligence already given in them by by krishna already sanctioned granted with them granted in their lives therefore such saying came god helps those who help themselves meaning you already have so much power to help yourself if you have that positive mood if you have that positive temperament attitude proper attitude you know you have that okay dynamic dynamic lively attitude very positive attitude to save yourself to be protecting yourself you can also do that okay every time you may not have to be completely or lazily dependent only on the protection of the supreme lord he is always there as your guardian okay when the when the right time will come he will be protecting you he will definitely be protecting you saving you because he loves you he cares about you but at the same time he also wants you to learn through tough and rough experience to learn to learn through experience to learn through trainings different types of trainings in your life okay so that you become you become more pure you become more purified and more prepared hmm? with 
more with higher strength discovering discovering a superior strength superior power from within given by lord because of the necessity because of your dire necessity to save yourself survive for your dire necessity of your survival okay there it is sometimes said necessity is the mother of invention sometimes our guru varga also use this phrase to explain such truth necessity is the mother of invention so that's how it happens so back to the point i can give you more examples apparently like other good people also many good devotees can can go through some very rough and tough experience of life experience of the upheavals okay dangers of life but it doesn't necessarily mean those devotees should immediately be hopeless feeling helpless okay and feeling of finding themselves oh helpless and no protection no the way lord directed the way lord directs no you can save yourself you can protect yourself you have got so much strength and power within you just discover it the way maha <coughs> mahapurushas do follow the footsteps of the mahapurushas simply try to follow in the footsteps of the great lives okay lives of the highest magnitude mahapurushas you find superhuman examples who are so much successful to protect to save themselves and receive success okay so such realistic examples are there in your life before you from the holy scriptures from the realities of the universe world of the truth that many 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 great devotees survived they protected themselves with some with the grace of lord but not that they were totally totally always dependent only on the <clears throat> complete protection of the lord without even giving a try to protect himself or herself no they didn't do it <clears throat> okay the level of total self surrender total dependence of lord on the mahabhagavata in the mahabhagavata life that is a different context okay that cannot be compared with some general examples of some general devotees faced with some troubles in life common devotees faced with some troubles dangers of life okay as soon as they pray for protection lord is bound to give them protection it cannot be compared okay but that doesn't necessarily mean lord becomes unkind to them doesn't give any protection doesn't <clears throat> doesn't <clears throat> extend any help to them he does he does extend some protection and helps in the form of their intelligence and their own strength own inner power what they have already got inside them in their life and lord simply wants to make them discover it apply it find the highest utility utilize it to the best okay and survive protect themselves is quite possible while they are engaged in prayer for the protection from the lord lord is watching so he becomes kind he he supplies he actually provides help to those devotees but in the form of that their own strength own power already given within them 
Krishna already equipped them with some power and strength and intelligence. That is also help from Krishna. That is also a great help supplied by, provided by Lord Krishna, none other than Him. Why should we not recognize that provision, that aspect, that aspect of the help from Krishna as it is also coming from Krishna? In a way that it is already given within us. All we need to do, intelligently discover it and apply it. That's how the great lives Mahapurushas did in their life and they received victory, so much success and victory. And they considered that they could do it not, not because it was their ability, it was their strength. Ultimately, it was the strength. It was the strength and power of Krishna. Ultimately, it was also the some form of help from Krishna directly that they could do it. They could find out their own, their own innate power and strength already given by Krishna. And they could utilize to save themselves to protect themselves while having full faith in Krishna, also praying for some higher grace from the Lord, from Krishna to help them more, protect them more. So it is the combination of both. Combination of both sides, both aspects in their lives, we find. While they are, while they are depending and while they are discovering and depending on their own strength already given by Krishna and utilizing that to the best to protect them, okay, to save them, solve their problems. At the same time, they are also depending on the, on the grace of Krishna, on some higher grace, superior grace of Krishna in addition Okay, to that what they are doing. And Grisha's help also comes from Krishna. So it has to be combination of both aspects. Self-help and help received from Krishna. Additional help received from Krishna, both. Then, with the devotees, will be able, definitely will be able to protect ourselves, save ourselves in many, many ways. Okay. But under very specific case, under this special case, then Supreme Lord directly comes down. He directly extends the, His merciful help in the life of a that specific special devotee who deserves to receive that help with for total self surrender and it is such a dangerous situation that devotee cannot protect himself fully by his own ability by his own power it was not good enough and that is not good enough at that point so supreme lord directly manifests this direct directly manifests with his own power, power of grace and directly helps that devotee to protect him. And he directly expands, extends his help to directly take care about that special devotee, about that highly qualified devotee to protect. He protects him and also sets the example that yes, under special cases, in special situation, uh, my devotees, great devotees are completely helpless. I come down to help them. I, I, I directly get involved. I get directly involved to directly protect them with my own direct power. So, both ways of the helps from the Lord comes in our life. 
Now back to the point. So, hmm, Supreme Lord, actually, in many ways, always be helping his even general devotees. Hmm, sorry, some technical difficulties. Hmm. So, what I was talking about lastly, which one I was speaking? Okay. Tatte nu kampang susamik samano bhunjano e batma kritang vipakam hridbag baku hir vidadhanna masti jibeto jo mukti padi. Okay, higher than that. Bhakti Pade Sadaya Bhag. Anyway, I am not today I am not going uh, into details, explanations about this verse. It will be taking so much time. Okay. Rather, I wish to come back to the point of the glorification about Lord Mishin Hmm. <clears throat> something. Okay, now I would like to focus more right on the on glorifying Lord Nishingadi, rather des- describing his glory rather than other spiritual topics. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> so that Again, that common verse is spontaneously coming in my mind. Namaste Narasimhaya Palhad Alhad Dayune Hiranna Kashipur Baksha Shila Tankana Khalai <coughs> See. See, as we all, see, we all know about the meaning of such verse, I am again not going to explain. Hmm. One word I would I would like to illuminate on. Just one particular word. It is Pralhadu Allahadu Dayune. Namaste Narasimhaya. Pralhadu Allahadu Dayune. I wholeheartedly pay my obeisance to that Lord. Nishingha, Nishingha Dev, who is Pralhadu Allahadu Dayune, who is giver of the bliss to Pralhad Maharaj. Hmm. So, I devotedly make my obeisance to the lotus feet of Lord Nishingha, Namaste Narasimha, who is, who gives, who brings, causes so much pleasure, so much you know, happiness and bliss of the, in the life of Prahlad Maharaj. Now, what kind of bliss? Now, at this point, what I would like to explain, throw some light on, on the criteria about the bliss of Prahlad Maharaj received from Lord Nishin. Mm. So, so when it is said, Prahladu Allahadu Dayine, That Lord Nishingadev is glorified as the great giver, merciful giver of the pleasure to Prahlad Maharaj. Now, what is the criteria of such pleasure Nishingadev brings to Prahlad Maharaj? Nishingadev blesses Prahlad Maharaj with it is. 
it has got different aspects the criteria of the happiness great satisfaction great pleasure or blissful satisfaction nishinga dev gives to prahlad maharaj is that number 1 the look i am your protector look prahlad see prahlad you know i am your great protector i am your great guardian your beloved guardian come protector of your life so you can enjoy the happiness you can always enjoy such happiness of your great satisfaction that i am always there in your life to to be protecting you taking care about you lovingly nurturing you not just protecting you okay but lovingly nurturing you as your loving guardian beloved guardian so you deserve to enjoy that satisfaction of such pleasure satisfaction of such happiness knowing you can take satisfaction of pride happiness of pride that i am your protector i am your hmm, <clears throat> i am your beloved lord who really cares about you hmm, who is always there to lovingly protect you save you take care about you that is the first criteria first criteria or characteristic of that happiness pleasure pleasurable satisfaction okay that bliss nishinga dev gives to prahlad second aspect of the nature of pleasure or bliss lord nishinga gives to prahlad maharaj is that that no prahlad that you know i am your beloved guardian means i am your father okay you are my son relation between me and you or that of beloved father and beloved son in eternity so as you relate to me as you dive deep into the world of meditating on me meditating on such relation with me that you are my beloved son i am your beloved father come guardian then you can directly relish batsalya rasa some sort of some aspect of batsalya rasa relation in relation to me that you can relish can relish the mellows of my love for you as your beloved father okay not just protector but beloved father okay and you can you can feel yourself in relation to me as my beloved son so in that way enjoy relish my parental affection for you okay you deserve to relish deserve to enjoy your your relational you know your your relational taste with me okay which is found in batsalya rasa from my side and from your side also hmm? the same rasa what the children feel taste in relation to their noble parents also related to the world of batsalya rasa okay so that is the second criteria 
of the pleasure of the blissful satisfaction nishinga dev gives to prahlad now the third criteria of the alhad bliss given by nishinga to prahlad is that hmm after all prahlad maharaj was kshatriya kshatriya san so he beheld with his own eyes the whole powerful leela of almighty lord of his almighty lord nishinga filled with heroic rasa filled with the melos of heroism divine you know the divine rasa of the divine heroic activity heroic leela of the lord prahlad maharaj himself being kshatriya he could relish that he could relish that scene and events of fight great fights between his beloved lord and demon father hiranyakashipu and he relished every step he actually relished every step every level of the heroic leela of his lord nishinga dev powerful most powerful lord nishinga dev to fight his evil father and he relished that melos of divine heroism he could taste that uh, he could taste relish that heroic melos from the leela of his beloved guardian lord nishinga protector lord nishinga so and through meditation prahlad maharaj could also relate to the happiness of releasing lord nishinga the you know heroic leela heroic pastimes and enjoy it a lot so that is also another kind another aspect of the alhad happiness kind of happiness deep pleasure sublime pleasure and bliss prahlad maharaj derived from lord nishinga leela hmm heroic that of heroic happiness hmm you know heroism has also got lot of power lot of satisfaction glorious pride pride of satisfaction of great glory and pride in itself so it has got taste it has got some allado happiness in it so prahlad maharaj could get that happiness from lord nishinga dev's heroic pastimes so that was also another aspect aspect of the allahad nishinga dev was glorified as allahad daine to prahlad maharaj giver of allahad great happiness or bliss there was another aspect of the allahad given by lord nishinga and received by prahlad maharaj from lord nishinga Hmm. Then what else? Hmm. Yes, I already described it. Again, I want to repeat the, my description of Pralado Pralado's happiness. What he realized when Lord Nishingha took Pralado Maharaj on his lap, he embraced him after he killed Hiranyakashipu. When Pralado Maharaj, because even Lakshmi Devi was also so fearful. was very very hesitant to approach lord nishinga to pacify him you we know that leela when lord nishinga did after you know after killing hiranyakashipu still and still lord nishinga did didn't did not withdraw his fierce form all his fierceness then everybody but everybody was so they were so afraid kind of so bit orid because now the evil demon now they are feeling so that now the evil demon hiranyakashipu already got killed so we now want to see back we now want to again see again lord nishinga dev in his please in pleasant form okay we want to see him coming back in his very pleasant beautiful form rather than continuing with such dangerous fierce form although 
that fierce form was also so dear to the hearts of the devotees because it was protector. That form was none other than, that fierceness was none other than great protector of the devotees against the evil power. So, the devotees knew how to relate to that fierce form with so much you know, appreciation, so much you know, loving appreciation. Yet, now, after that demon Hiranyakashipu got killed, now they wanted to see their Lord coming back to his natural, okay, beautiful, pleasant form. They no more wanted to see, continue with seeing Lord's fierce Nishinga form. So then, who would go to pacify Lord Nishinga? Who would approach him? Nobody dared. Now nobody dared to approach Nishinga Dev closely to pacify him. Even Lakshmi Devi, some point Lakshmi Devi was requested by demigods and she was also, she also didn't want to run the risk, didn't want to take a risk to approach Lord Nishinga to pacify his fierce form. Then lastly, they sent Prahlad. They sent Prahlad, Bhakta Prahlad, to Lord Nishinga, you go and pacify your beloved Lord for whom he accepted, he adopted such heavy, oh, fright, frightening, such frightening fierce form. Only you can go to pacify him. You are the most qualified to do this job, to do this, so you go. As soon as they asked Parlad, Bhakta Parlad to do, he immediately ran. No fear. He had no fear, no worries at all. He immediately ran to Lord Nishingha, who was still manifesting in great fierce form. Others were a bit afraid. Prahlad Mahal had no fear. He immediately ran close to that Lord Nishingha in fierce form and begged him to withdraw, to withdraw that fierce form and come back asked him to come back to his natural pleasant form, peaceful form. And before even, before even Prahlad started, began to ask his Lord to control, to withdraw that fierce form, Lord Nishinga already started melting, already started melting by then, melting by his natural upsurge of loving affection for Prahladu Maharaj. As Lord Nishinga already started feeling the upsurge of love and affection upon seeing Prahladu so close to him. Okay. Okay, touching. Okay, feeling Prahladu so close to him. He literally started melting. His heart started melting in happiness. Okay, in the happiness, great happiness of the loving affection, pure, infinite love affection for Prahlad. He naturally, Lord Nishinga didn't have to consciously withdraw his fierce form, didn't have to consciously do it. It automatically happened naturally happened by the close contact of his beloved Prahlada, so close with him. Now Nishinga they already started melting in great happiness of deep love, affection, love, affection. And Prahlada Maharaj, great Batshalla mood. Okay, Batshalla mood for Prahlada Maharaj, sublime love. And he touched him, his Lord Nishinga started caressing Prahlad, his Bhakta Prahlad all over, embracing, hugging. At some point, he started licking him. That was the way of the, you know, the lions, mother lion. When they, it's their, one of their ways to express their fondness, express their fondness to their children, Okay, they, they start licking their body all over their body, express their love and fondness. And in a similar way, Lord Nishinga started doing 
in in relation to prahlad maharaj embraced him started patting him caressing him all over licking him automatically his fears form just vaporized panished disappeared automatically by the power by the power of love of prahlad maharaj for lord nishinga i repeat by the power of by the effect of the pure pure loving devotion of prahlad maharaj for his lord and also by the effect of lord nishinga's of lord nishinga's great loving affection batsallo batsallo prema for his beloved son spiritual son prahlad and automatically lord nishinga dev now came i uh, took the form very pleasant form most pleasant beautiful form opposite to fierceness representing manifesting his infinite loving affection batsalla prem towards prahlad while caressing him patting him and prahlad maharaj was also almost getting united with lord nishinga being absorbed in lord nishinga's infinite ocean of batsalla prema he was almost being diluted almost being dissolved almost being totally absorbed okay completely immersed in that infinite ocean of lord nishinga's infinite loving affection batsalla rasa prema for prahlad okay and he tasted prahlad bhakt prahlad began to taste and taste and taste release and release to the infinite extent simply unaccountable inexplicable by limited language that was the experience of the alhad ecstasy bliss prahlad maharaj got received in connection with lord nishinga dev he received from his divine beloved father beloved lord nishinga dev so in that way also lord nishinga dev provided extended so much bliss so much satisfaction of the divine bliss to the heart of prahlad maharaj prahlad alhad daine see so this term prahlad alhad daine has got all different beautiful interwoven aspects melos hmm. within united together hiranyakashipur baksha silatam kuraka i remember from another verse there is another <coughs> significant verse in praise in glorification of lord nishin that is ugra panugra evayam sabhakta anang nikeshari i am not going into the all details only the detail meaning of the verse uh, it will take so much time just focusing on the first line ugra panugra evayam sabhakta anang nikeshari she lord nishin it is describing about lord nishinga's fierce form ugra then next saying ugra pi anugram evayam sabhakta anang nikeshari so just next to the word of praising glorifying lord nishinga's ugram the lord of divine fierce form of divinely uh divinely fierce power power of fierceness hmm? next describing anugram just opposite to it 
So, meaning, I offer my, I offer my wholehearted obeisance, I offer my <coughs> loving obeisance <coughs> to that Lord, to that powerful Almighty Lord, who, in order to protect and in order to protect and save his devotee's life, he first of all manifested in a great evil killing, evil killer, fierce form. So much fierce it was that the evil Hiranyakashipu immediately got afraid of his mind and heart, whole existence, trembling with fear. So much fear it does. That was the intensity of the fierce form Lord Nishingadev manifested in the first place. It was almost like Hiranyakashipu was half dead, just upon visualizing, just upon seeing that terrible, that most fearful, more, most frightening, most frightening fierce form of Lord Nishingha. But the same fierce form was being released at the same time by his devotees to be oh sweet and beautiful because it was that fierce form which was meant to protect his devotees which was solely meant to protect Prahlad Maharaj. Such fierce form is so laudable. Such fierce form of Lord Nishinga became so laudable, so dear, praiseworthy, so adorable to the hearts, in the heart of his devotees. They literally relished it. They literally adored that most frightening fierce form Lord Nishinga they accepted, adopted. Oh, with all their loving appreciation, it was, in other words, it was such adorable manifestation way of Lord Nishinga's manifestation. Okay, they are not frightened. Bhakta Prahlad was actually releasing mm, that lila of the expressed through fierce way, fierce activities of Lord Nishinga, mm, releasing it in a heroic way. Because, oh, they are releasing it with pride because that fierce form, meaning killing the evil in order to protect his children, great devotees, not only Prahlad Maharaj, but also other sadhus, all, it was meant to protect all other devotees of Lord Nishingha. So, Ugra... Ugra panugra evayam Ugrapi, in spite of becoming, despite becoming, manifesting in such a fierce way, manifesting such a fierce Lord, Lord of ultimate, ultimate fierceness, extreme fierceness, frightening fierceness, at the same time, the same Lord is also, also manifesting, look, also manifesting just opposite way, opposite way to fierceness, such a sweet, beautiful, loving, okay, loving, pleasant way. And he is manifesting both forms for his devotee, beloved Prahlado, oh, What's the wonderful characteristics of the Leela, Almighty Leela of the Lord? Leela of the Almighty Lord, Nishingha. That He is, that we are, that we are receiving such fortune of having the darshan of seeing, seeing that same Lord in both ways, both forms. Because of his extreme love, his loving affection for his Bhakta Prahlada. Same Lord, manifesting in extreme fierce form, also manifesting in extremely pleasant form, extremely loving, sweetly, 
sweet loving form and he is doing it because of prahlad look at the power of the devotee look at the power in love of the devotee supreme lord becomes controlled even supreme almighty lord becomes controlled so naturally controlled by the power of the love of his devotee like prahlad maharaj hmm so this verse is not only spoken these words in this verse not only spoken in glorification of lord nishingha to describe the glory of lord nishingha with divine pride uh, with a mood of, with some divine pride because devotees take pride to describe such glories about their beloved lord so not only they are offering such hymns okay chanting such hymns not only to glorify lord nishingha but also to glorify prahlad maharaj glorify the power of his love loving devotion to lord nishingha dev hmm who uh, that the power of prahlad's bhakta prahlad's loving devotion actually controlling the lila of the lord narayana of the lord krishna to to be manifesting in the in the form of lord nishingha i repeat the very the very divine power of all loving pure loving devotion of prahlad maharaj for his lord vishnu narayana our lord nishingha is actually making the lord also controlling the ways of the lila of the lord in these ways so not only lord himself lord himself is expressing manifesting such a lila nishingo lila on his own sweet will <clears throat> but also his own sweet will also getting affected being affected by the pure power of loving devotion of prahlad maharaj in relation to him so it is also such terms ugra ha uh, ugra panugra evayam such part such portion of the verse also glorifying prahlad bhakt prahlad besides glorifying lord nishingha bhakt bhagavan bhagavan and bhakt both are being glorified together in inseparable interrelationship one cannot be glorified without other here the relationship is so intensely dear so intensely intimate that lord nishingha dev cannot be glorified without glorifying his devotee prahlad and prahlad also cannot be fully glorified without uh without glorying without describing the glory chanting the glory of his beloved lord nishingha if one is glorified another is automatically glorified by the nature of their intimate intimate relationship ugra panugrahi vayam sa bhakta anang nikeshari same lord <coughs> the lord nishing okay. the lord nishing hadev okay being being controlled being affected by his own love for his own devotees own kind care loving care for his own devotees he mercifully manifested both forms ugra at the same time anugram fierce form 
and the next to next to that fierce form opposite to it very sweetly pleasant form which is full of loving care for all his devotees actually both forms are filled with his loving care hmm? for all his devotees headed by prahlad bhakta prahlad bhakta prahlad is the central example for that leela leela of the lord who mercifully and very most lovingly manifesting his, himself manifesting okay <clears throat> manifesting himself as the protector loving protector of not only prahlad maharaj but also all other devotees not only prahlad maharaj although prahlad maharaj is the central character of such leela but also other devotees like him ananna bhajana kari devotee devotees with ananna bhajana quality that are exclusive devotional qualities therefore it is stated sa bhaktanam nikeshari sa bhaktanam is said over here प्रहलाद See, I am going on in a spontaneous way. Okay. <laughs> Out of joy, some spontaneously another verse coming in my mind. <clears throat> Since spontaneously appearing in my mind, let me. let me let me go in i would love to be immersed in om ugrang birang maha vishnu jalantang sarvato mukham nishinghang bhishanang bhadrang mrittor mrittung namam yaham उग्रंग वीरंग महाविष्णु ज्वलतंग सर्वतो मुखम नृसिंह भीषण भद्रम मृत्योर्मृत्यु नमा मृत्योर्मृत्यु नमा अनदर वंडरफुल भर्स गेट छैंड सिंह दी beautiful and powerful glories of lord nishingha majestic powerful glories <clears throat> we understand the meaning of the word ugra oh so first of all lord nishingha is being praised as ugram Ugra means, as you all know, Lord, merciful Lord in fierce form. I repeat, merciful Lord in fierce form, in order to, which is meant for protecting his devotee. Ugra, the next, Birang. Birang means the Lord filled with heroic pastimes. Here, Birang. Bir means hero, a noble hero, hero of great noble qualities, hero, hero of highest magnitude, highest magnanimity, of protecting his devotees against the evil. Okay, so, ugrang birang, 
here the term the word biram means great hero hero the great hero the greatest the noble hero must magnanimous biram hmm. hmm. must hero of the highest magnitude hmm. hero of the highest noble qualities noble heroic qualities that is hero viram so here by the term viram meaning the lord who was actually manifesting his heroic leela or heroic activities filled with a great noble quality quality of protecting his own devotees and at the same time the lord who was releasing that heroic pastimes okay in connection of giving extending full protection loving protection to his devotees okay he is that kind of biram hmm. epitome of all noble conception of the heroism epitome samam bonam hmm. the highest the ultimate conception of the beautiful kind merciful loving heroism heroic qualities found in lord nishimha de biram he was nishimha de nishimha de had been ugram by lord nishimha was ugram very fierce okay he was in very fierce form but that fierce form was opposite to cruel fierce form opposite to the fierce form representing giving cruelty expressing cruelty is a fierce form representing oppo- opposite to the cruelty extreme which is extreme kindness extreme magnanimity extreme love loving care to protect his devotees that kind of form it is that's what is meant by the term ugram ugram and although he had that fierce form but despite having that extreme fierce form next moment very next moment to please to affectionately please his devotee prahlad he became anugram he, he he was totally transformed into a into a, a lord of very sweet loving form he was immediately converted by the effect of his loving affection for prahlad and by the effect of prahlad's love loving devotion for lord nishimha lord nishimha de automatically naturally hmm now appeared appeared in his most sweet pleasant loving form in relation to prahlad so it is, it is a, such a beautiful wonderful lord who was accepting the fierce form and the most pleasant sweet loving form okay both to please his own devotee prahlad to please his beloved devotee prahlad he was doing both for prahlad for the cause of protecting prahlad protection of prahlad and expressing his love pure love and affection for prahlad that's how it is qualified 
is Ugra Rupa as well as Anugra Rupa. Both are greatly qualified by his love for his devotee. By his pure love for his devotees. Hmm. Oh, I came back to that verse. I started explaining that other, another verse, but now somehow I again coming back to that verse. Okay, now going back to that verse. Uh, that's the beginning. Om Ugrang Birang Mahabishnu. Jalantang Sarabhatu Mukham. So after Ugrang Birang, we know the Mahabishnu, Supreme Personality of Godhead, Supreme, Supreme Divine Person, Mahabishnu. Now, the same Lord now manifesting, not only as Ugra, not only as Biram, after Ugram, Biram, then now next is manifesting as Jalantang Sarabhatu Mukham. Jalantang, such as blazing fire, such as unlimitedly blazing fire, a fire which is blazing with unlimited light and heat and burning functions. Jalantang Sarabhatu Mukham, the fierce form of Lord Nishingade had such criteria, has got such criteria that of Jalantang, like a, like a huge blazing fire, hugely blazing fire, I repeat. We all know fire has got burning quality. Fire burns all garbage, all bad things. Fire has the ability. But other chemicals cannot destroy all evil things, all germs, all germs and bacteria of our great, you know, heinous disease, deadly disease or sickness. But fire can destroy all. Fire has got such power, ability. Fire can destroy, burn all in all the deadly germs and all the you know, all the germs and bacteria of our sickness. It can simply destroy all the garbage stuffs. Okay, just burn them into ashes. Completely purify. It's a great purifier. So here, the word jalantam means. It has got several aspects of the meanings. Jalantang literally means a huge blazing fire. How it is spoken over here in this verse? To make us realize about the great, about, about the great qualities of Lord Nishingha as Jalantang, as huge blazing fire. How is that? Number one. Okay. He is a, he's a great, that blazing fire in the form of Lord Nishinga was a, he is a great destroyer of the great evils. I repeat, great destroyer, killer of the evils. Means destroyer, burning the evil things, evil stuffs into ashes. And not only burning them, destroying them, they are also purifying. They are also purifying them. So you have to understand, as Lord Nishinga killed evil Hiranyakashipu, but after that, Hiranyakashipu was given some sort of liberation. Aho baki jang stanakalo kutang, jikhang shaya paya dappasad. Leve gotting dhatru chitang tatanyang kangabadayalung saranang brajima. 
although aho baki jang stano kalo kutan jighang saya ya paaya adapya sadhi jighang saya paaya adapya sadhi lebhe gating dhatr chitang tato unnam kangba dayalung saranang brajema although this verse is <coughs> connecting with putana but this verse contains the similar meaning of lord's magnanimity lord's great generosity noble quality so that's why this lord coming in my sorry this verse came in my mind so even after killing hiranyakashipu after lord nishinga killed the evil in hiranyakashipu the evil identity of hiranyakashipu thereafter he just gave grant granted liberation to his soul he simply granted some sort of liberation a kind of liberation to his soul hiranyakashipu his soul was liberated such a kind lord that is this that is the characteristics that is what is lord nishinga that's a special one of the special characteristics of lord nishinga that he only kills the evil but he helps the soul he helped the soul of hiranyakashipu awarded liberation blessed it with liberation such is the kindness of fierce lord nishinga such is the kindness of the lord nishinga was apparently fierce to teach a good lesson to the evil power to frighten the evil power and protect his devotee against the evil at the same time he also became so kind to their soul soul of hiranyakashipu blessed it with liberation because supreme lord ultimately cannot be unkind kindness is one of the inevitable and essential qualities of our living so we actually need fire without having fire in our life human beings cannot survive human beings lives cannot survive so see fire is so much required essentially required in our life for living a better life for our survival so a blazing fire is not always destructive it has got constructive aspect okay it has it has the aspect of destroying the bad stuffs thereby opposed to that in reaction purifying function alongside destroying the bad stuffs sickly stuffs of our life fire actually purifies the environment purifies our life okay with the good things brings all the good benefits through the process of purification through burning through the burning process of purification so it is so friendly to us also while it is abused while while it is abused and misused fire can be very destructive okay destructive in our life but as it is properly used it can be so friendly so beneficial in our life so by the charm jalantam by the charm of describing lord nishinga's qual one of the qualifications as jalantam manifesting as huge blazing fire all such qualities are being chanted all such glories of lord nishinga what i have just described being explained and other aspect of the fire that it not only burns and purifies it gives so much light and heat to live our life properly so lord nishinga dev also gives he also extends so much divine lights 
divine heats to protect our lives, spiritual life, life of devotion. So, jalantam. It illuminates. Jalantam means like a blazing fire. It illuminates the whole surroundings. It illuminates the whole surroundings of our devotional life, spiritual lives, with the divine, with the lights of knowledge and wisdom. It illuminates our life in and out, not only with the lights of divine knowledge and wisdom, but also with the lights, with the lights of our devotion, lights of devotional love, lights of lights and heat of our loving devotion to the Lord, our relationship warm, relationship with the Supreme Lord. I can, in some other way, I can say a hot loving relationship, a hot loving relationship with the Supreme Lord. So, such lights and heat from such blazing fire which is manifesting, representing as one of the great qualities, magnanimous qualities of Lord Nishimha. Hmm. Is described in this, okay, in this word of the verse. Hmm. Jalantam Sarvabhatu Mukham Then Nishinghaṁ Bhishanaṁ Bhadraṁ The next line Such noble Lord Nishingha Such, such Lord Nishingha sometimes, sometimes I am lacking some of the appropriate words to properly describe to properly explain everything. So, Nishinghaṁ such, such magnanimous Lord of so much nobility, nobility, magnanimous power, hmm, kindness, Nishinghaṁ Vishanam but Bhadram despite despite being such powerful greatly unlimitedly powerful Lord he is so Bhadram Bhadram means he is so gentle the very literal meaning of the term Bhadram means just opposite to exercising the strength, I repeat, just a function which is opposed to exercise, display the strength and power. It's called Bhadram. So, I repeat, in spite of being such a powerful Lord of unlimited extent, unlimited, hmm, unlimited magnanimity, he is also very gentle. Vishanam, very powerful, heavy, 
extremely powerful and strong, Vishanang dangerously powerful and strong, at the same time, just that of opposite character, him that of opposite character, Bhadram, he is also so gentle, he also manifested extremely gentle, kind, soothing ways, filled with Vatsalya love for his beloved devotee Prahalada. So, a Lord who is combining the both characters, extremely strong and powerful and extremely gentle, kind and noble, softened with, uh, so pleasant with so much loving affection for his devotees. Nishinghang Bhishanang Bhadram And the next Next expression, Mitro Brittung Namam Yaham. He is the Lord, He is that Lord of that character who is known to be the death of the death. The Lord, powerful Lord Nishingha, who is understood who is realized to be death of the death. Mitro mrittung namam maham. If we can be truly engaged in worshipping such a Lord, then at some point we can also overcome all the conception of death of our life at some point in eternity. We can be blessed with eternal life divine beyond, beyond all the limitations of death, all kinds of deaths. So, Vishingadev <clears throat> is such a Lord, he's such type of Lord, such kind of Lord, who is the death of all deaths. Hmm. who is the killer of death, who causes the deaths of all deaths, meaning blesses us, rewards us with life divine. One who blesses us with, rewards us with the life divine in eternity beyond all kinds of death, an immortal, an immortal, ambrosial life divine. Hmm. He is the giver, merciful giver of such life, such immortal, ambrosial life divine in eternity. Jai Bhagavan Sishin Shingadev Jyoki Jai Bhagavan Sishi Nishinga Dev Juki Jai Bhaktaraj Prahalad Maharaj Ki Jai Kayadhu Mata Ki Jai Jai Sishi Nishinga Chaturdashi Brata Maha Mahot Sab Ki Jai Jai Sishi Lakshmi Nishinga Bhagavan Ki Jai Jai Sishi Lakshmi Nishinga Dev Juki Jai Bhaktaraj Prahalad Maharaj Ki Jai Samastha Shuddha Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai Sila Guru Maharaj Ki Jai Sila Prabhupada Ki Jai Samastha Guru Varga Ki Jai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Bhur